YouTube after taking off a couple weeks. Phil Galfon started back up with the Galfon Challenge and had a $183,000 victory as he got back after it. Bringing him down. He's only down, guys, $716,000. We're going to go over the big session right now. We're going to check out the hands. We're going to get into it. I want to see exactly what Phil did, how he came back. And uh, because uh, as we see, saw him last, as we had him last in the podcast, he was down about 900 some thousand dollars in the Galfon Challenge, 25,000 hands playing against Benny VD. Took a couple weeks off, cleared his mind, spent time with his family. Now he's back after it, and he's coming with a comeback, but it's going to be a long way to go. So let's get back in these hands, guys. And some people said, don't jinx Phil, right? Why would you jinx Phil? I, I don't think it works that way. I'm not worried about jinxing him. I'm worried about covering the Galfon Challenge, man, because I'm excited to see my man Phil Galfon come back to victory. Let's hop right into it, members. Potlin Omaha, the great game of Potlin Omaha. You have four cards instead of two. Got to use two cards in your hand, and you must use two cards in your hand. So if you have one ace of hearts like you see in this hand right here, that doesn't mean you have a flush. Just a reminder, my Vegas experience giveaway ends on Saturday where we're choosing somebody to have a Vegas experience who purchases the new Upswing Potlin Omaha course in my link below. Make sure you guys check that out if you want to be entered to win. Let's get into it. Let's start from the top here. Shout out to my man, Moonlight Master, putting up highlights all the time on his YouTube channel. The guy has been doing great work throughout the Galphon Challenge. If you want to find highlights each and every day, you can check out his YouTube channel right here. So we're getting right into it, man. I'm told that Phil ran a lot better this match. Uh, you know, I watched a little bit of it back. It's four hours of battle and they're doing every day on Twitch. Uh, he looks like he has a little bit different river strategy. And it uh, looks like he just made more hands, really, is kind of what happens. So you can see here, right, Phil flops the nuts. Benny Vitti has the, the nut flush blocker, that, that future Bangkok in his hand, and he's got the gut shot with the seven, gives him the second nut straight. Phil has a nut straight. I mean, this is a huge flop, guys. Anytime you flop the, uh, the nut straight with a queen high flush draw, right, you're pretty excited. When he gets called there, unfortunately, or I'm sorry, when he gets called there, I mean, it's usually a good sign, but the seven does come on, on the turn, and... His opponent is going to have a hand like a 10-jack. Obviously, 6-10 is less, less likely because Phil's got the 6 in his hand. But unfortunately, see, these are the kind of hands that I felt like Phil was losing when we first watched him, right? He would be making these, uh, you know, this is just a spot we didn't, we didn't really see too much in the highlights, right? So now, Benny Vitti makes the strand the turn, but gets counterfeited on the river, but still has the perfect hand to turn into a bluff. And then Phil has the perfect hand to be able to call his bluff with here. So you're going to see Phil... Checks back the turn because 10 jacks very likely. Also loses the 6-10 there. Also, there's some deception as well, too. Remember, these guys are, are, are playing a very different match than most normal people are going to play in terms of the way they're trying to balance their ranges. Phil pots the river, and now Benny Vitti, you're going to see here, he's going to turn his straight into a bluff. Could he call here? Yes. Is Phil saying he has a flush? Yes. When you have that nut flush blocker, do you always go all in with it? Yes. And we're gonna see Benny Vitti. You do. Benny Vitti goes all in, and this is just the, this is this is run, this is really run good, right? As you get Phil has the best hand on the flop, doesn't have the best hand on the turn anymore, but the river just happens to be a perfect scenario where he's gonna take down an extra twenty five thousand dollars here. So he wins the sixty k pot, and we're starting off strong. We're off to a hot match in the comeback cafe table. I like what I'm seeing so far here. Next hand here, so Phil's gonna call a three bet with the queen queen ten six ten six. And Benny Vini's going to flop those top three pair. We don't have a name for that. We need a name for the top three pair. I don't know what it could be. And you can see Phil has the open and straight draw here. So Benny Vini, Benny Vini uh, pots it here. Phil's hand, right? He's got the queen of hearts, so he could potentially bluff some, bluff some hearts. If a king or an eight does come when your opponent pots here, there's a pretty good chance that uh, you're going to be making a lot of money from your opponent if they have a hand of value, as we see here when the offsuit king comes. Now your implied odds go down when a heart does come, so but at the same time, you're probably not going to be folding here on the flop for one bet. Uh, luckily for Phil, he turns God, and Benny Vitti has a hand where uh, you know, you're know you kind of going with it. You're praying your opponent doesn't have the queen 10 here. You can certainly get it in against better hands, better two pairs with flush draws as well. So you're, you're pretty much, you're really enjoying your spot in Benny Vitti. You're only scared of the queen 10. Unfortunately, he's got queen 10, fills all in, and runs pure on the river of the eight. This is what I'm saying, guys. You got to win these spots. Benny vitti has got a lot of outs there. Any board pairing card, but Phil takes it down again, and he's got up to 91,000 pretty quickly in this match, and they have the momentum on his side. Now here, once again, Phil calls a three bet. He flops the wrap here with the four, five, eight wrap, meaning a, a wrapped around for a straight. Whereas an open-ended straight draw in Texas Hold'em is, is you have two cards, right? Or you have a, 
makes sense, right? A rap, we call a rap a straight draw, right? I feel like there's an easy way to explain it, but I'm trying not to pause the video and trying to do this in real time so we can speed through this bad boy so it's not too long here. But yeah, a rap's gonna be any any straight draw three where you have three cards or more in your hand. So Phil does go ahead and decide to bet here when Vinny Vitti checks. Vinny Vitti could continuation bet here. He free bets. He's got top pair, backdoor straight draw, backdoor backdoor king high flush draw. But he decides that he wants to check call here. It's gonna be a lot of really good turn cards for his hand to continue on. Ten jack, queen, king, ace, right? Good cards. Also some deception as well, too. Unfortunately, see, this is what happens. This is what you need, right? Phil turns the nut straight, and it's kind of the hidden, the hidden straight here in this situation because. You don't, you, sometimes your opponent's not going to bet the four or five on the flop because they don't want to get check raised all in and they want to realize their equity, meaning that they want to see a turn and river card for free oftentimes. So they wouldn't always bet a four or five here. And Venny Vitti happens to turn the king high flush draw so he can never really fold here because if Phil does have a hand like a two pair, which he might be betting here on the turn, we still have plenty of outs to improve and we also can make our flush. So Phil goes ahead and bets here two thirds. You know he's rock hard as he's watching this hand, saying, "Please God, let Vinny Beatty have the ace with the clubs." And the river runs out pure. So now some two pairs are counterfeited. If Phil had a hand like a seven six, obviously ace seven eight six still in pretty good shape. Vinny Beatty's hand looks like an ace or an eight nine type hand, meaning some type of straight draw, maybe like a seven eight nine that he decided not to bet on the flop or on the turn. So if you're a Phil now, you're not really scared of a full house. Some players might be scared of a full house, but really you're scared of what? Like an ace three, right? Seven three, six three, maybe. But you're you're excited here. You want to make a bet. How much you want to bet is uh, it's going to be up to you. Phil decides to go ahead and bet the pot here. And Benny B's got a situation. We really, I mean, I feel like when we watched uh, a lot of these hands, right, Phil wasn't necessarily on the right side of these situations often, man. We'd always see Benny Vitti seem to, when he calls the river, right, he just seemed to have the best hand all the time for my, for my watching. And I watched a lot of the action, a lot of the hands. Unfortunately, Phil takes this one down. He's up, man. He's killing it this session completely in the D-Gen Den. I like the name for these tables here. Oh, damn, what's happening here? Oh, my God. So, Phil, three bets pre-flop. He's got top set. He checks. Benny Vitti turns second set. I mean, this... Did they turn the run god mode on, on, on the site? So, what happens here? Wait a second. So, Phil pots the turn, right? So, Benny Vitti's got to raise. They're really deep here. $45,000 deep. Does Benny Vitti not raise here? Wow. This is crazy. Set over set. Phil checks flop. The only hand you're scared of here, if you got a set of queens is a set of kings that's it but then even he just calls here so they're very deep here forty thousand dollars a different kind of spot river comes the the gut shot straight gets there that four five phil checks here wow this this pot could have been way bigger i mean this, this could have been a hundred thousand dollar pot right here so Benny Vitti pots the river. He's saying that, I mean, when he calls the turn, he pots his river, he's saying he might have some two pairs. Uh, certainly could have a straight. A lot of missed draws out there, right? With with all the diamonds that missed, with the straight cards that missed as well, too, in terms of what he could be bluffing with here. Um, maybe turn some queens into bluffs that have a missed draw as well, too. I doubt it. Probably just gets a showdown with those hands, but you never know. But he is saying that he that he has a uh, very strong hand here. And he does have a very strong hand. He's got a set, but Phil just calls. Doesn't take the chance of going all in because there's 30K more behind. And that's a pretty big swing in the match. you got to remember, for this type of match, that might be something that he would be considering. I'd be very curious to see if, under different circumstances, that Phil might go for value and decide to raise that river. But that pot could have been much, much bigger. Benny Vitti certainly got away with one there. Uh, another interesting hand here, a single raise pot. No three bet here. So Phil flops top and bottom pair, German two pair with the open and a straight draw. Benny Vitti has a hand here. I'm going to pause it right now. Benny Vitti has a hand where this looks a lot stronger than it is. So Benny Vitti has the bottom pair, as you can see. He's got the wrap, right, with the five, seven, eight, and he's got the weak flush draw. But what happens here is a lot of people are going to overestimate a hand like this. And, and in reality, when you get a lot of money in here, when you do make your flush or when you do make your straight, Oftentimes, it's not going to be the nut straight or the nut flush. And oftentimes, when a bunch of money gets in, your opponent is going to have a better hand than you. So 
this might be a hand where when you flop it, you get excited, but especially as it's multi-way, you wanna play with this with caution, right? It's a lot stronger than it looks. Unless you make the seven of spades, then you wanna shovel the money in because you got a straight flush. All right, just a little note for you guys out there. You wanna be aware of these hands that, that look stronger than they are with the combination draws. So Phil decides to check raise here. A uh, little bit, a uh, little loose, a little loose in terms of when you do get called here. There are gonna be some bad turn cards, a lot of bad turn cards for you that you're gonna have to proceed with caution on, but you do have the top and bottom pair. You got the open and straight draw, right? How bad can it be? But this could be a hand that you just check call with. But he decides to check raise, and Benny Vitti doesn't believe him. So he goes with a semi bluff here. And now Phil's got a decision. Does he call or go all in? I mean, this is why when you check raise here, you're kind of put in a, in a tough spot because your opponent's saying they got queen nine, maybe a set, a higher flush draw, a, a combination type of draws. Hand as well that, that might have your 10 jack with spades in it too. But uh, but Phil fucking smashes the turn, makes the nut straight on the turn. And now Benny Vitti, when he gets called here, he's got to think Phil has a hand like this, 10 jack, flushes, flush draws well too once again. So Phil pots the, pots the turn as he makes the straight. And now Benny Vitti's got to decide what is he going to do? Is he going to call it off here? Is he going to put another $11,000 in with, with just a pair of sixes and the straight draw when the straight draw... Might be drawn down with the straight draw, but he still most likely has that flush draw, but could be drawn down with the flush draw too. It's a very awkward spot, but this is kind of the situation you get into when you end up uh, re-raising this flop instead of just calling. So if anybody gets all in and uh, he's going to lose another $4,000 pot. So everything is going up Phil Galfon here, but uh, a debatable play there, I think, on on, on Benny Vitti's part right there in terms of how he played that hand. Oh my God, look at this. Single raise pot, Phil Galfon flops quads. Did, did did he really turn, did he like put a god mode on? I mean, can we verify that? Do I need to go to Malta right now and, and view the server and the code or something like that? Do I gotta bring my Indian developers out there to check this out because this is crazy. So Phil gets check raised with quads and you know he is just 14 inches hard right now. Poker hard, poker hard, calm down guys. He's poker hard right now. When you Whenever you get check raised, and you got quads, you're just like, uh, how do I not fuck this up? <laughs> you know what you're thinking? You're like, okay, uh, uh, let's get the money in, right? Let's get excited. So so he check raises, ace on the turn. Benny Vitti's got that ace of spades in his hand. Fun Phil does call here. What could he have? He could have a four for trip fours here. Uh, he could have some over pairs as well, too. Could have some combination draws as well, too. So Benny Vitti pots turn, Phil just calls, rivers of five, and now Benny Vitti, if you're Benny Vitti here, you have the ace, so you block pocket aces, you are just like, oh my god, this is amazing, we are going to get them back finally here, get some momentum back, and you know you're running pretty poorly when you flop the full house here and your opponent's got clots. That's not a good sign, normally you might want to uh, quit the session. That's just, what, that's just what this means typically, is maybe it's time for a break, you know, I mean... And your opponent goes away in the river, you're like, uh, call. Hopefully he's got ace four, right? That's what you're hoping here. So Phil shoves $4,200 more. Benny V is obviously going to call here. And he is going to lose another massive pot. $41,000, man. Phil is running like an absolute Kenyan in the New York City Marathon right now, man. This is straight some Kenyan heat right here. I'm loving this right here. I'm loving the shout to Moonlight Master. You did a great job putting these highlights together. All right, what do we got here? Three bet by Phil, queen, eight, nine, 10. Benny Vitti's gonna call four, four, seven, five. Flops, ooh, here we go. So Benny Vitti has that bottom set, fucking idiot set. He's got the open and straight draw, two backdoor straight flush draws. Oh my God, I've never even seen that. Phil has the wrap. Remember the wrap is a three card or more straight draw. So he's got that eight, nine, 10 queen. He decides to check here. This is going to be a better board for your opponent when they call a free bet. So you're going to be checking most of the time here, even with a hand like 8, 9, 10, queen. So Phil's got a decision. Is he check raise or check call? Certainly could check raise here because you're going to want to be check raising with some hands. This might be one. And he does go ahead and check raise here with the 8, 9, 10. So he's going to need a 5, an 8, a 9, or a 10. 5, 8, 9, 10. Yeah, that makes sense. Benny Vitti, when you get check raised here, you're, you're kind of up against this hand. So you're not loving it because you do block some of your outs to, make, to fill up here. They're all in. 
And Phil hits it again. God damn, what the hell is happening? <laughs> wow, Phil with the $100,000 stack and the DJ and Den table. This is crazy to see. Okay, back in it already. So if any BD... Oh boy. Okay, Benny BD has the aces here. Flops the nut flush draw. Phil's got top two pair with the 10 high flush draw and a backdoor straight draw. I think he's got a backdoor straight draw. Yeah, he has backdoor straight draw here. So this is a monster flop for everybody. Benny BD is gonna play gonna play this deceptively. I, I think he's gonna go for a check raise here. This is a opponent. This is a board I think your opponent is going to over overly stab on here. So Benny BD could put this in his check call range or he could check raise it i would not be surprised to see him check raise here and obviously phil's gonna go all in he's got the top top two pair he's gonna most likely think that he's against a flush draw and uh he's gonna have to hold so they're all in here for another hot seven on the turn you need to heart three on the oh, wait oh no oh counterfeited oh no i i, I the hidden counterfeit card so phil gets a little unlucky there takes that one down or it doesn't take that one down, actually. It's always unfortunate when you both have the flush draw. Your opponent's got three hearts in their hand. You got top two pair, and then that pesky three pairs the board, and you get counterfeited. It's just it's, it's devastating sometimes. So here we go. Three bed pot. Very deep here. Or not very deep, but a little deeper than normal. $36,000 uh, $36, deep here. So you can see they're playing a little bit more conservative, which is normal as the stacks get deeper. But especially in this challenge, if you're Benny Beatty, you don't want Phil to be able to come back. And if Phil's gaining some momentum, then he's going to want to maintain that momentum. So it's just another wrinkle that goes into a challenge like this where where there, there's this massive score at the end that you might be trying to improve your lead on or cut the lead back. So let's see here. Phil's going to raise here. Queen, seven, deuce. Not many hands you can really have here for value, guys, right? Set of queens, set of seven, set of deuces, queen, seven, queen, deuce. And you're not always going to raise those hands, too. So you're going to be mixing in some hands as bluffs here. Uh, you know, what hands would you bluff here, guys? That's a good question, right? That you wouldn't just call with. Probably hands that contain... Uh... I guess just multiple backdoor draws, but those hands kind of work better as calls too, or they work well as calls. So maybe just queen, a queen. You might you might bluff for his queen here. Maybe a seven with backdoors, but I think those hands are just like calling too. So this be a good good spot to kind of put into the the solver and see what they say. So Phil does raise. That's the turn. Thirteen thousand. 8,800 in the pot, 30,000 behind. Phil's saying here he's got a set, right? So he had queen seven, queen deuce. Would he always bet this turn? I don't think so. Benny Beatty's saying he's got a queen and or an overpair. So king of hearts in the turn, nine on the river, backdoor 10 jack gets there. Benny Beatty, I think, is more likely to have the 10 jack than Phil is, but neither player is that likely to have 10 jack, although Benny Beatty could call. That raise with the queen 10 jack type hand. On the flop, and then continue on the turn. So now what's Phil gonna do? Two thirds pot size bet left, $30,000 pot, 21,000 behind effective. And Phil goes all in and says, yeah, I, I really wanna know what Phil's got here. Let's we'll see if anybody's gonna call. We don't see the cards on the screen. I think that's a spoiler alert that he's not gonna call, so. And that's it. Phil takes it down. Well, that's going to be our last hand in the match, guys. So there it is. Phil Galfon finishes up $183,000. He's down $716,000 after 10,501 hands played. Wow. Galfon Challenge continues every day. You can find the updates on my YouTube channel. It looks like Phil just uh, fucking... Demo I mean, that's what you got to do, right? No matter how you might be playing in some of these turns and river spots, you have to win your big ol' wins, right? You got to make hands. You got to be making second best. They have to make second, third best hands. That's how you're going to be able to get a big lead. And of course, when no one's making big hands, then those other hands become a lot more important. But some sessions, you're just going to make monster hands and you're going to win. And you might overestimate how you played or how you how you... You know, I mean, really, you're going to overestimate how well you played because now you're going to think you played like a god when in reality you just ran really well. So I'm very interested to see what happens with Phil here. Let me know what your guys' thoughts on these hands on the challenge. Can Phil make a comeback? What do you think? 
check it out, guys. Make sure you like the video. Subscribe to the channel for more and more Pop Manoha content coming out Friday and Saturday for this week. Thank you very much for watching. Take care. Adios.